Again this evening with an update on the effort to get missing photographs and other items back to people who lost them in this month's Salado tornado. Yeah, the day after the tornado hit, the Salado Public Library offered to collect everything found and then get it back to the rightful owners. Six News reporter Darren Wallace went to see how the past weeks have gone. Since the Cedar Valley tornado hit, the Salado Public Library has offered itself up as a checkpoint for people to bring lost and found items that were lost due to storm damage. And the people that have come to retrieve items they thought were once lost forever have been incredibly appreciative. While the Salado community started to clean, the public library offered itself up as a drop-off point for people cleaning up to bring lost items. Since the cleanup efforts began, the library has seen a large number of people bringing in pictures, clothes, and other things they found amidst the damage and debris. Jeannie Lively, the director at the library, says the amount of people bringing in items and taking good care of them speaks volumes about their character. When people come in and they're bringing things, um, sometimes they've taken really good care to try to clean them up before they bring them in. And, there, and there'll be like pictures or um, um, silver, we've got silverware. <laughs> and you know, they've done their best to make sure it's in good shape. And um, a, a, those that did bring clothes, they were washed, they were folded, they were very much lovingly taken care of. Lively told me the best part about seeing everyone bring in lost and found items is just knowing that the Salado community is sticking together through tough times. Later at 6, I'll tell you about her favorite moment about someone who came in and found pictures she thought she'd lost forever. Reporting in Salado, Darren Wallace, 6 News. Now, Lively says the library is still taking pictures and smaller items, but they ask that if you bring clothes or other bigger things, Take those to the Salado Civic Center because they are just simply running out of space.